Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how we can use SharePoint online document library web part. I will show you how we use this web part in a SharePoint site page. And basically, we will see in, in detail how we can also display uh, files from a particular folder in a SharePoint document library. As well as I will show you two very important things. One is dynamic filtering, how we can do it. And as well as how we can see a file preview. Uh, so both the things I will show you that. So now let me just open my SharePoint online site. If you'll see here, this is my SharePoint online site. And this is the document library I have. So what I will do here is I will just open uh, in a new app the site and you can see here first we will create a page. Now I create a page I will choose the bank blank layout and create the page I will give a title for the page and the next thing what we will do is okay let me just delete this default web part and uh, what I will do now is I will add a web part here so if I will just search for document. Uh, you can see here there is a document library web part so this web part when you will add into this page you will see here it is showing me all the libraries which are available in this site so i will choose documents library because this is the library from where i want to display the items or the files now i'll just publish it and you can see here uh, this is how the page looks like now this page i have a document library normally how it comes um, so this is how it looks like now we will edit this page and we will edit this web part to understand few of the um, you know settings whatever are there so in this case if you'll see here you can choose the library here you'll be able to see all the libraries so i'll choose documents and you can see here view all uh, this is the view so by default uh, the default view it is uh, appearing here if you create any custom views whatever will be there it will appear in this section and you can choose your view so whatever the view will select that that will come here next one is the folder so now uh, you know if you are into this sharepoint uh, um, um, library things you will you will not able to create a view where you can display the uh, you know files from a particular folder now we can do this by using this sharepoint online document library web part now in this case you can see here it is saying type, type the folder name so as simple as this i will just add the folder name here so you can see here i just added the a folder name and i will click on apply button so once you click on apply button you can see here this is the file which are available in the inside that folder and that is the region it is coming and if you have nested nested folder so you can put like this and that's how you can next you can give your uh, folder name so in case you want to display a, uh, a you know nested subfolder or documents or files so i'll just remove this folder name here and uh, next one option you can see here size so if you want to show 5 items 15 items 30 items suppose i will choose 15 items you can see here i'll just click on apply so you can see here unnecessary this space is coming so the best one what you can do is you can auto size it so that it will come fit into the number of items whatever is available you can see here this is how it is coming but if you have a requirement to display 5 10 items or 30 items then you can choose these options next one is uh, show command bar so if you'll just enable it you will be able to see the command bar so i will click on apply you will be able to see the uh, um, sorry by default you will be able to see the command bar and if you will enable this you can see here you will not be able to see those options that means user will not be able to do any operation from here so if you will enable it then we will be able to see it and user can do operation from here like you can upload new document uh, or you can create documents all these things you can do it here this is the command bar and then also there is option you can see here see all so when you click on this see all it will basically open the document library so if you want to uh, you know hide it so you can just uh, 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 toggle this button you can and if you click on apply you will see here now see all is gone so these are few configuration things that you can uh, do on this now what i'll do here is i will show you this dynamic filtering so basically what we can do on this dynamic filtering is um if anything you want to select something and based on that this value or this document library will filter the items so for this what i want is i will delete okay let me 
or do one thing i'll just add two section here two columns and i will put over here so i just drag this library here and in this case um, i will add a list so what is that list if i will just show you there is a users list which is having a title column and a author name column author name column is nothing the person and group column and you will see here few users has been added here now what i'll do here is i will go here and i will uh, from here i will select a list web part so like library web part we have also list web part so you can see this is the list web part and uh, i will create a separate video how to use this one but for the timing big you can see here i just selected it and it is showing me all the list which are available in this particular sharepoint site i will choose users here now look at this so i am able to see um, the information from this particular list and in this column i have the library now what i will do here is i will click on this edit web part you can see here i'm editing the uh, document library web part and i will say on dynamic filtering is on here click it on and once you on it it is saying column in the documents to filter which column you want to filter so in this case i have a column which is known as the default column modified by so i will choose here modified by next it is asking the list or library so in this case our list is the users list so i'll say select users and next it is saying column containing the uh, containing the filter values properties so which column basically the filter value we want to do this author name so i will select author name here and author names properties i will take from the title and then i'll click on apply so now you will see here we have done this settings now i will republish this you can see here i published it and i have not selected a particular author so it is displaying me all the items if i will just select author 3 user 2 you can see it is showing me items which are modified by user 2 and if i will just select the user 1 you can see here there is no item which has been modified by the user so that is the reason you are not able to see it if i will select both you can see here it is showing me all the author or modified by where name is Pichai Kumar Sao. so so this is how we can uh, you know use the dynamic filtering uh, so next thing i will show you is uh, uh, the preview so how we can do this i'll just edit this page and what i'll do is i will uh, remove this and uh, this one if you'll see here i will just edit it probably i'll disable this um, dynamic filtering i'll apply it here and i put take this to the left side okay so in the right side what i'll do is i will um, add another web part so if you search for file you will see one uh, web part name as uh, file and media so once you select this 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 one basically this web part we use to display file or media so for the timing being we are not selecting it instead what we will do is click on edit web part and then you can see a triple dot here in this media and uh, properties file and media properties section click over here and then you are saying it is showing connect to data sources so in this case it will take the data source from this page itself so in this page we have the documents library so it is showing us the documents library just click on save and publish this page now if i will select a excel file let's say it will show me the preview of this if i will open this policy document you can see here this is the policy document same way if i will um, you know uh, have this youtube video you can see here this ppt it is showing me so this is how we can work with the SharePoint online library, document library web part. And if you want similar kind of videos, subscribe to our channel and you will get a lot of free videos on Microsoft 365 related things. Thank you and have a nice day.